we are gonna turn this into this. <laughs> It'll have to work. And I think to myself, what a wonderful It's like two, two months later, um, 2 a.m. Saturday, drinking all by myself and um, filming a YouTube video. Cause that's the good life, right? Am I right? I'm right, I know I'm right. Don't have to answer me there. So anyway, not sure if this is a good idea or not, but here we are, we're doing it. It's a uh, recording and I'm gonna make a moss pole. I'm gonna finish this shit up because like, I have the original moss pole, like the really big one that I made out of haste, sitting in this fish tank, this empty fish tank that I don't know what I'm doing with, so like, who knows what's gonna happen here. <laughs> I'm gonna get drunk, it's what's gonna happen here. I think I just wanted someone to hang out with right now, that's why I'm just on the YouTube right now. Ooh, cheers. <sighs> If I burp along the way, sorry not sorry. I don't know what's going on, guys. <clears throat> Just gonna do my shit. I need cooler water because I'm using boiling water and that's outrageous. Who remembers that shampoo outrageous though? Let's talk about that for a second because I remember it. I miss it. It's not in stores anyway or anymore. The smell was offensive. It was it was very strong, and um, I miss it. And it was probably horrible for my hair. But there it is. Just outrageous. Well, I love my body outrageous. Are you serious? No. All right. Gonna put some cooler water. They say to use warm water on the Shvina moss. Um, to help it work its magic a little bit faster, but I'm not here to burn my hands. But it also didn't tell me to use hot water, so. Anyway, hey Google, down two notches. Hey Google, up one notch. It's hot, but we're gonna just be real quick about this because I have um, that floppy monster I'll show you what it looks like now. Oh my god, this is crazy. I'm like, probably gonna break it because of my laziness. Okay, this is what it looks like right now. It's doing very well. It's very happy. This is the front of it because it's been facing one way. But um, it's got zero support and all it wants to do is lay down. So I'm not here for that. Not. <gasps> Not letting that happen. Oh, see, look how beautiful that is. I love monsteras. They're just so stinking cute. So I'll take that off camera because I know it's going to be distracting. I mean, I would look at that the whole time. We'll stick you in with the other monstera. You guys can hang out for a while. Shall be friends, be merry. So anyway, um, what I'm gonna do with that one is I'm actually gonna cut it back a little bit more, propagate some of that, and um, sell it to you guys if you're interested. Uh, get at me on that. And um, otherwise, I'm just gonna give it a, a new opportunity to climb up this moss pole that we're gonna make right now. Um, the other moss pole that I made was on a thicker bamboo stick. It's much bigger and I'm going to use that for uh, this large Larry here. This is one of the older broken leaves so that's why it looks pretty haggard but everything else looks pretty pretty nice. Got a lot of new growth coming in so uh, that one's going to get the larger moss pole and it's just going to live a better life that way. I mean I think we're looking good here. Okay. What? Okay, great. Now I need to straighten my camera. I'll take it. I just got this um, piece of bamboo from the dollar store and I didn't even cut it. I 
haphazardly stepped on it just to break it and I have a nice jagged piece here because that's all I had at the time my foot my foot was there it was handy in fact it was footy so <laughs> I used my foot and um, this is what we got so I think I'm actually going to maybe cover this part no I'm gonna use this part as the skewer the this part's gonna go in the soil here so how much of this do I want in the soil is going to depend on my pot. So I'm just going to be up potting my floppy Monstera into this nursery pot here. So I am going to What's going to happen is I've watched a lot of tutorials lately and they actually started at the point of like the top of the soil point and work their way up to the tip. And I actually find it a lot easier to start from the top of the moss pole and work your way down and stop where you need to. So let's do that without further ado. Oh, Shiza, I need some fishing line. <laughs> Okay, so you can almost mold this on here before you start wrapping it with the rope. And what I'm gonna do for this part is I'm actually <laughs> gonna tilt you down a little bit. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just make a tiny little knot here. That's secured at the top, the free end of that knot, I'm just gonna kinda hold down and wrap up along the way here. Make sure you do tight knots because the sphagnum moss is hydrated right now, therefore it's expanded. And when it dries up, what's gonna happen is the fishing line is gonna be much looser if you haven't tied it really tight. So I need to get comfortable with my wrapping situation here. So when you have pieces like this that are sticking out, you don't need to cut them. You can just fold it down and just wrap over top of it. So, I'm gonna keep going down, keep adding more sphagnum. You can't see that, sorry guys. And just keep wrapping. Make sure to squeeze out that excess water as well so you can mold your sphagnum moss onto the pole. It doesn't need to be perfect or pretty. Actually, the better way to do this is grab that wet sphagnum, wrap it around the pole, and then squeeze out that extra moisture. And then it's already molded around the pole for you. As you can see, I'm not even having to really hold it. That's the better option. Okay, if you guys are sensitive, I have allergies. Um, like I just have sensitivities to a lot of environmental things. And I have some exposed wounds on my fingertips here. And I'm noticing that it's burning a little bit. Um, nothing that I'm not used to. So just a little heads up. Uh, if you guys do have sensitivities, maybe grab a pair of gloves before you do this. And grab a pair of gloves before you do this. And, um, and just save yourself a little sting, a little burn. Hey Google, play Soka. Hey Google, play Soka. Okay, check out the Soka music station on YouTube Music. Hey Google, play Soka. Sure, check out the Soka music station on YouTube Music. Hey Google, play Soka. Okay, check out the Soka music station on YouTube so Music. This is my Hey Google, play Soka. Sure, check out the Soka music station on YouTube Music. 
This is Justin Timberlake. Hey Google, play Kess. Okay, check out this Kess the Van Station on YouTube Music. I just gotta hydrate some more shrapnel. You know what's funny? Is I always do this right after I shower. I love getting dirty after I shower. I mean, who's with me on that? Bitch, I just burnt my leg on my kettle. That hurt. Let's drink. Let's also move this so I don't do it again. Cheers. Alright, guys. All right, that's all folks, peace out. Editing Julia here. I realized that Drunk Julia failed to thank you all for enduring that with me, so thank you. I really appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if it was helpful, if you got a laugh out of it, and hit that bell so you don't miss a beat. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace and love.